Welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. Today I will be talking about monitoring pressure in SQL Server. And to achieve that, I am going to observe the task count. Now let's first understand what exactly do we mean by pressure. Um, when workloads are submitted to SQL Server, they are converted to tasks. And this is a very simplified explanation. When they're converted to task, um, the resources in SQL Server, primarily the CPU, memory, IO, they work in collaboration with each other uh, to execute that task. When the number of tasks uh, outgrow uh, and, and are more than the resources can handle, um, that kind, that seems to be that the engine is under pressure at that point in time. Uh, there are many ways of how you can uh, monitor pressure in SQL uh, Server. And of course, um, my favorites are DMVs, dynamic management views, and there are many of them. So in the upcoming demo, I am going to uh, show you how you can use uh, some uh, DMVs. Uh, rather, in this demo, I'm only going to show you uh, one of the DMVs uh, and uh, important columns uh, that can be uh, used, uh, the data items, to observe the task count and if the task count is uh, considerably more than a certain value that could mean that SQL Server is currently under pressure. Action time, let's jump to demo. Let's get started with the demo. I am going to use the DMV, uh, select star from sys dm underscore os underscore <coughs> schedulers. So this is um, a DMV, which I don't see quite often in uh, troubleshooting uh, scenarios. I mean, I don't see developers DBs using this one quite often, but this has some good information that uh, you can use in your uh, troubleshooting um, uh, endeavors. So let's go and execute this. Uh, you can see the scheduler address, uh, the scheduler ID. Uh, this one is important uh, for you. These are uh, internal use and that's why you will see that there they say that uh, status as hidden online uh, I have eight cores right now here so you can see the scheduler ID from 0 to 7 on my laptop and um, let's go and look at some important columns so as I keep scrolling on the right a uh, lot of data just like any other DMV and this current uh, task count is uh, important for me uh, as as of now when this DMV was executed at that point of time, each of these schedulers has uh, these many tasks uh, scheduled uh, on them. That was the current task count. Uh, this column is important, runnable task count, which is uh, how many tasks are currently in the runnable queue, which means they are ready to run, but they have not got uh, a scheduler assigned to them. So they are kind of waiting. Uh, they're not waiting for any specific resource. It's just that they are waiting for their turn on the scheduler. And thankfully, there is no pressure right now on SQL Server. And this is what I mean by pressure, which means my runnable task count is all zero and SQL Server is sitting pretty happy and healthy. Um, as we keep scrolling uh, down, there is uh, another one called current uh, workers count, which is the number of workers that are currently there on each uh, scheduler. And the work queue count is also zero, which means no task is, uh, no thread is really waiting for a worker to get picked up. Uh, so this is also good. And then there is another one called pending disk I account. So that's also sitting nicely at zero, uh, which means I right now at this point, there is no disk pressure as well. Now, when I look at um, uh, these columns, these are pretty good columns and a simple query can be formulated, uh, uh, which you can use in your uh, monitoring purposes. So I'm going to use pending disk I account, work queue count, and um, let's say current um, current task count and runnable task count. So let's go and look into this and get some um, columns out there. So first, maybe I can uh, use um, average of um, the, sorry, current task. So let me do this one. I will uh, take, let me take current uh, task count as um, one of the columns and then I will take um, runnable task count. This is important for me. Then I have the work queue count and then pending disk IO count. 
So what I can do is I need this across all the uh, schedulers, of course. So I can just quickly get an average of them. And let's take an average of these fellows. And just let's call this as average. And I don't need the current there, average task count. And I'm showing you how I generally formulate uh, these um, queries. And most DMVs are not uh, as meaningful in sense if you just simply run um, if you just simply run them with select star, you just need to make sure that uh, you write a meaningful uh, query. So we got the runnable task count, average uh, runnable, runnable uh, no, I should okay, I should make it runnable task count that was perfect. And then I will take an average of work queue count as well. Average work queue count as average work queue count. And then we'll take the average pending discount. A simple query and you can always baseline uh, such queries in sense you can periodically record this data which is not really very difficult you can make a baseline database in another video i would try to show that also to you and from schedulers and we should make sure that where our uh, scheduler id is less than 255 because i want to uh, get rid of those uh, other hidden ones that are used for internal purposes and now let's go and execute this and you can see that the average task count is seven and we, we're pretty nice at uh, zero, zero, zero because there's absolutely no pressure. And now what I will do is uh, run some workloads. So let me go back and try to add a few users in the system and let's go and execute this. And you will see that this count will increase and you might see some values around here. So let's go and run this. And now you can see that average ta task count has increased. So at that point in time, across my eight cores, we have a total of, let's say, 19 tasks running and about 11 of them uh, waiting uh, in the queue. Uh, the code that I'm running does not really do much of I.O. So you can see these ones as uh, empty and the tasks get picked up, but they're waiting in the queue for a scheduler to be assigned to them. If you see consistent high values with task count and, uh, you know, runnable task count, even for worker queues, and uh, pending disk IO count, I mean, more than let's say five or 10 on, on a consistent basis, which means uh, that is that a system needs investigation. Maybe you need to add more CPUs or you need to add more uh, IO. Uh, a consistent high value would mean that SQL Server is under some kind of pressure. So this is what I meant by monitoring uh, SQL Server pressure by observing the task count. Well, then thank you very much for your time for uh, watching this video. I hope to meet you again soon in another video.